Um, so yeah, I think the picture probably says it all. It is kind of quite a, a delicate balancing act of what we need to do. Um, first up, just like to take a look at, many of you probably will have seen this sort of chart before, the claims triangle. Um, so right at the top of the claims triangle, these are all the, these are all the factors that really we have to try and find, try and find a balance for. So front and centre of the customer, um, are we doing the right thing for them? How are we looking after them? How are we treating them? How, how do we want to treat them? What's our product strategy around the service they get? Um, down on the, uh, on the right hand side there, effectiveness. Um, so how, 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 how do we actually manage the money? How do we control our spend? Are we going to be really generous? That affects our customers, but it affects our pricing as well. Or are we going to be sort of tighter on that? Um, in which case, again, it could affect the customer and also the types of people that we have in the organisation. So they're all interlinked, as you'd expect. Efficiency. So, brilliant. We could have a really slick operation that actually drives down our operating costs. But how does that feel for the customer? What's that balance? Where do we, where do we draw the line between those two things? Um, but it is really all about our people at the centre of it and what talents and what skills that we have to keep all of those elements in balance. But of course, we haven't just got those elements of the triangle. There's a whole world out there, and a whole, whole raft of governance regulation, um, social media, we've got environmental challenges, um, we've got the whole world around uh, ge geopolitical challenges of Mr Trump and whatever Boris is up to next. All of those have got to be factored into um, how we run the business and, and what experience we want to give the customer. Um, but probably one of the biggest challenges at the moment is around that digital and internet of things. How is that influencing um, how we're actually running our business and how does it impact all of those elements of the triangle? Using, using your smartphone, um, it's the actual phone itself, the hardware itself, um, could represent your organisational structure. It's quite, it's quite fixed. You know, the screen size is the screen size, the amount of battery you've got in your phone, it's, it's fixed. Um, and that's very much sort of the resources perhaps you've got in the business, um, the amount of premises you've got, the amount of money that you've got in the business, um, and maybe even some of your IT capability might be fixed. You then put on top, on top of that, on your phone, you've got your operating system, and that really is a piece that harnesses all of that hardware, all of the elements of your business, and uh, determines really how you make decisions, how, they, how those resources are, are utilised and used. And that gives you a really stable platform. You know, over the years, mobile phones have become tremendously powerful. Um, but this is kind of, this is almost like the Nokia world of mobile phones. Um, very stable, very secure, um, long battery lives, really stable um, for the, in, in for the long run type of business. So how do we make sure in this day and age um, that we're actually giving ourselves the ability to flex and to move with the market and to move with those customer um, demands and customer views that we've seen and their requirements and their interpretation of the automated world. Well, in phone land, in smartphone land, we layer a load of apps on the top of it. Um, and that really gives you the flexibility over and above that stable um, backbone that we've got. It's the apps on your phone and it's the, it's the surface level processes and interactions in your business that really do drive the dynamic capability of what that hardware and that operating system are capable of doing. Um, really defines your processes, really defines your interactions and should define the speed. We all we get lots of new apps on our phones, we can delete them, we can, they, they get upgraded, we can even give, give feedback on them. And you know, it's all very intuitive and it's all very instant in the way that we can operate that. And that is the agility part, trying to bolt that onto your business as that surface layer, but then equally be able to unplug it really quickly when we need to. And it's finding that balance between that, um, between that stability and that, uh, that dynamic capability, which will give you that stable and agile organisation. Um, and that's kind of the sweet spot, I guess. But where, what stability and agility looks like in your business or in, in a particular insurance firm depends on customer base, target customers, and where they are in the phase of growth or shrinking or which markets they want to go after. <laughs>